Hello friends, welcome to my channel Code with me. But before that, I'd like to introduce myself. Myself Sunil, I'm graduated from MIT. In the first session of this C programming language, I want you two guys to know the basic history, uh, basic structure and the application and advantages of C programming which made it one of the most popular programming language. In this session, we'll come across the basic objectives like what is C, history of C, basic of basic structure of C language and advantages. C friends, what is exactly what is C language? C language is a structured high level and a machine independent programming language which is used to create projects without any hardware implementations. In coming to the history of C language, it was developed by Dr. Dennis M. Ritchie in the year 1972 at Bell's lab. It was originally designed and implemented on the Unix operating system. And coming to the next slide, basic structure of C language. See friends, in the coming to the basic structure of C language, it contains the four more uh, four more core parts. That is a preprocessor directives, main class, a pair of floor brackets, variables, declarations, and statements. Here, the preprocessor directives, which contains ash, includes stereo.h and ash include conio.h, which includes all the inbuilt keywords that we use in C language. And secondly, come across the main class where Every programming language start with a class. Like the same way, C also contain a main class, which is defined as main pair of brackets. And thirdly comes with a pair of flower bracket, which internally inside contains variables, declarations, and statements. Uh, in other words, we can say the coding part. And coming to the structure of C language, here's here friends, here, here you can see clearly the structure of C language. It contains ash include dotage, ash include conio.h which includes all the inbuilt keywords as I said before and coming to the void main see friends in the main class I have declared as void main it is not necessary that in every program you have to declare only void there are some senior scenario occurs where you have to mark int or float instead of void main class so initially as an example I have declared as void main class and inside I have, uh, have inserted clear screen printf welcome to C language and get ch see when you run this program friends the output will display as welcome to C languages, nothing else. So this is the basic structure of C language where every C program contains these four core parts that is preprocessor directives, main class, a pair of floor brackets and variables, declarations and statements which is uh, coded inside the pair of floor brackets. So, to the next part, advantages, the core part of the session. What are the features? Uh, what kind of feature the C carry which makes it one of the most popular language? Number one, it's very, very easy to learn. Number two, structure. Structure in the sense, friends, a, a big program can be divided or broken down into multiple submodules. So by doing that, you can decrease the complexity of the program. Secondly, high level. A high level in the sense a C program is in human readable form rather than machine readable form. In the sense, friends, a human readable form in the sense it can be read by any human being rather than just a machine code like 0011 for this example and thirdly machine independent a machine independent in the sense assume friends you have coded, coded and compiled a C program in one operating system you can execute the same program in different operating system without any hardware implementation that is the core part of the C language which makes it one of the most popular programming language and the final session is thank you before going to the before ending this task friends, I request you kindly subscribe the video and need support for this. From the next session, I'll directly start with the coding part. Thank you very much.